Hello and welcome to Global Prophecy on CHM TV International. It's no news how the righteous man, missionary, apostle, Siddiq X Moses have given numerous prophetic words displayed to him by God through the domain of the soul. This time the godly man gave prophetic words concerning an Asian country on the 27th of March and on the 3rd of April. He further expressed that there would be a horrible downpour around Asia. While I was standing there, the Lord showed me in a city, in a country, the rain will be two days rain. caution individuals of God to implore against bizarre breeze and flood that will crash houses and properties, saying individuals have toyed with the outrage of God. He likewise told the world that this is an indication of the end time and the second approaching of Jesus. So the level of this wind I'm talking about, when you are going to experience it in this your Lagos, <laughs> your spray say your children no, no go school that day. Maybe the wind, let me pray this prayer. The wind will carry the person and open your door and put the person on top of the bed for you. In Jesus' name. <laughs> it looks like joke. Everything that has to do with God is simple. I should not struggle to tell you the mind of God. That is what he's saying. It's all about the end time. It's all about preparation of his coming. So please, please, each and every one of us should always pray. God, once you see, you hear wind, start praying. That the Spirit of God should help you overshadow the power of that wind. Because it will do dangerous things. What God showed me. So the law will pre preserve countries upon countries in the name of Jesus Christ. Strange wind that will come through water sweep out nations, sweep out houses. When rain start falling too much, don't say you want to go out like that. Wait. Wait. Because the rain of this year is just quarter to go. The coming of Jesus is just quarter to go. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Affirmations have raised web-based media and significant news stages as South Korea endures yet the most strange breeze hurricane of this year. Hurricane Hinamore, the most grounded cyclonic tempest this year, up until the point hit South Korea on Thursday, the 8th of August 2022. Seven individuals are passed on by the flood after they were caught in an underground vehicle leaving during floods brought about by the storm Hinamore. As indicated by news site, each of the nine individuals were inhabitants of an apartment complex who had before that morning been advised by the administration office to move their vehicles away. News have more details. 
South Korea has raised its highest alert as super typhoon Hinamno tracks towards Busan. The storm has already unleashed damaging winds and rain, prompting evacuation orders and flight cancellations as well. South Korea is bracing for impact as super typhoon Hinamno intensifies. As the storm edges closer to the southern island of Jeju, residents are already feeling the effects of its violent winds and outer rain bands. The typhoon, with a radius of 400 kilometres, is expected to be the strongest to ever make landfall in the country. Heavy rain warnings have been issued across the country until Tuesday. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled, and schools as well as several businesses are being forced to shut. South Korea was at the epicentre of the floods. Roads, railways, cars and homes in the Seoul and Gangwon metropolitan areas were flooded due to heavy rains. Two people were evacuated after their home was flooded. Four people were rescued due to rising water levels in a wall in the same region. Nearby, firefighters were sent to a gas station to remove nearly 30 tons of water from the underground facility. Dozens of trees collapsed in Gangi Do, and about 20 flutes were reported. Firefighters said they had eliminated at least 44 cases of flooding in the city. Subway cars passing through Haing Station were forced to slow down during the day because the rails were flooded with water. The rain will be two days rain. Many houses will be lost and thousands of humans will be lost. I'm looking at it in the news like this. At the same time, I'm from a news to, to a news. The news of God to the news of man. I'm seeing the news of men. This is CNN. This is Al Jazeera. Which country is this? This is an Asian country, Asia. In the name of Jesus, Lord, this rain I am seeing. It means there is something going on in the city. According to the Korea Meteorological Administration, the stationary front will likely affect the country's central region and cause strong winds, rain, thunder and lightning. North Korea would also likely experience heavy rainfall this week, which could cause flooding in some areas if rivers burst their banks. Each and every one of us should always pray, God, once you see, you hear wind, start praying. That the Spirit of God should help you overshadow the power of that wind. Because it will do dangerous things. What God showed me. South Korea was at the epicenter of the flood. Roads, railways, cars and homes in the Seoul and Gangwon metropolitan areas were flooded due to heavy rains. Two people were evacuated after their home was flooded. Four people were rescued due to rising water levels in a wall in the same region. Nearby, firefighters were sent to a gas station to remove nearly 30 tons of water from the underground facility.